Hi guys, welcome back to our Seaborn tutorial video. So guys, in this today's video, we will learn some of the more distribution of the Seaborn and we will see it with small project and with the example like how we can work it with. I hope that you will really enjoy this video. And before like beginning with the video guys, please subscribe to our channel Town. So the first distribution we will learn about is a binomial distribution. Okay, guys. So the first is binomial distribution. So binomial distribution is a discrete distribution. It describes the outcome of the binary scenarios. Okay. For example, like we can say guys, a uh, coin. So if we toss a coin, it will be either heads or it will be either tails. Okay. I hope that this thing is clear. So guys, basically it has three parameters. So N number of trails and P stand for probability of occurrence and size the shape of the written array. So now just we start with an example guys. Okay. So from numpy, okay, let me write it down here. From numpy, you have to import random. Okay, as I have told you about random before, also. So guys i hope that till here there is no issue okay guys so now what we are like giving it so we are giving the number of tra trials i have told you okay and p stand for probability and then we will like give the size of it okay let me give the size we have a size of 10 okay, guys wait a second let me correct the spelling so now what will happen now so we are like uh, generating 10 trails for coin toss okay so it will generate 10 data points so now just we have to print the x Wait a second guys, guys we were not having this like dot that's why we were getting an error. So guys see, now we are getting the tens like outputs for the 10 trails. Okay, so now how we can use this thing in our real life project? Suppose guys you are creating any app in which suppose like for an example guys take a Ludo game app. So this thing will happen in the same so this is the use of this now guys how we can visualize this binal the binomial distribution now we'll start with the c bond so first we have to import the packages from numpy okay guys and now Guys, this is will be a very great video. Okay, if you will like understand with video and give it time to it, you will definitely get all the things which I'm trying to explain you. And trust me, guys, just one practice and all be done. Okay, so guys, we have imported the matplot library from pyplot. So this is also library I have told you before. We will talk about it uh, in the later videos. Okay, now we have just simply imported the packages from the Python. Now we have to just simply start with it. Okay, we'll start with the cbons sns dot. Okay, so now what we are guys doing here, we are visualizing the binomial distribution. Okay, sns dot this is plot, and now we have to type the random and dot 
so guys i hope that till there is no issue p is equal to 0 0.5 size is equal to 1000 okay so you can take the any number you want guys okay now we will pass the condition st is equal to two now see guys we are getting the data in this form in this graph chart okay now see it is very easy to visualize all the binomial distribution okay so we have given the value n from the number of trials and probability then size and then we have like created the true and false condition now guys we will learn about difference between normal and binomial distribution so basically the main difference is that normal distribution is continuous whereas binomial is discrete but if there are enough data points, it will be quite similar to the normal distribution with certain LOC and scale guys. So now just start with an example. So how we can do this thing, create a new cell. Yeah, fine guys. So just copy paste me this. Okay, so now what will be doing guys we will like change the loc so let me convert it to 50 okay guys and then we have to give it a scale suppose we have to give it a five and we have a sign same as a thousand and now we have to like delete this We have to now use label. Okay, so we will keep it as a normal. I hope guys that this thing is very much clear. Now let me copy paste this as the same. Okay, so now we have to create the number of outcomes here. So n is equal to like suppose 100 okay and we have to give it a probability p is equal to 0 0.5 and guys you know that probability is always less than one so i'll always keep the value less than one otherwise it will give you an error okay and normal like sorry guys this label we're gonna set is as a binomial okay See, I'm, we are getting an error. Manual takes at least two positional argument. Okay, so now we have corrected it out. Uh, we are not like setting the this value as a false. It was true. So that's why we are getting an error. So now guys, we have this okay plot here. So now what is it is representing? So this blue line is representing as a normal. Wait, guys, we are having a problem. Okay, so this blue line will like represent the normal and this orange line will represent the uh, binomial so as you can see so we are having the loc okay at like very fast uh, point we have kept loc as a 50 so so you can see it we are getting a line okay so it it is not uh, showing it as a dot and as you can see there's a orange binomial graph okay i hope guys that this thing is very much clear and trust me guys like this thing we will be using very much okay so in the next video guys of this uh, like uh, this uh, c bond so we will learn about some of the like projects and the small examples of the c bond i hope guys that you are really enjoying this video and if there is any issue or any problem you can definitely tell me in the comment box so now before going to the point
Okay, let me tell you one thing also that uh, how to use the poison. Okay, guys, let's see. I'm at it, having an error in my key. I don't know why, guys, that it is happening. Yeah, see, guys. So now what you have to do, you have to import numpy. So before it, what is Python distribution? So Python distribution is a discrete distribution. It estimates how many times an event can happen in a specific time. For example, guys, you can take if someone's eat twice a day, what is probability he will eat thrice? Okay, so this is how we use poison distribution. Okay, now let's see with small example from numpy import random random i have told you earlier guys how it works okay now we have to create a x and this random dot poison and this rim so what is this so it is rate or known number of occurrence okay so it will be always two or above so we have set it to the two okay guys now we have to get the size and now what we will we will print the x so if we are getting again an error <laughs> this error is not like we have like this spelling of the poison wrong now if i run this again see now i am getting all the random distribution for the occurrence and it is at the format okay so it is in the format one into 10 okay i hope guys that this thing is very much clear and in the next video today i will show you someone of the project of this uh, like jupiter's plot